Hello, this is Ebenezer Zakweku from Ghana. So in Second Nephi chapter 31, verse 21, we read that there is none other way that mankind can be saved except through Jesus Christ and his doctrine. And so my question is, what about those who don't believe in Jesus Christ and his doctrine, but they believe in God the eternal Father and in the Ten Commandments, in the only key to the Ten Commandments? What happens to those people? Tenji. I love this question because a big part of the question is coming back to the fundamental truth of what does God want to do with his children? Uh, does God only want to save a select few or does God want to save as many of his children as will choose to follow him? Mm -hmm. When we contextualize the discussion that we're having here in 2 Nephi 31 with what Nephi had talked about in the previous chapters, one key doctrine that came up time and time again is agency. And so God has given us our agency to be able to choose and that mm -hmm. we use that agency to make decisions. And so what those decisions look like uh, can oftentimes be influenced by how much knowledge we have. Okay. And so I love this question because there are those who the extent of the knowledge and experience that they've had is there is a God and I know that he's given the Ten Commandments, but I don't know if there's anything else. And so God is going to judge those people based off the light and truth mm -hmm. that they have at that time in their lives. And that's one reason why it's so important to share the gospel. Kellyanne talking about earlier how we love to share the gospel, and that's one way to keep us enduring to the end. There are people out there who are hungering and thirsting to know more, and they're doing the best with what they now know, but we can expand that understanding. And Nephi um, is going to build on what his father said earlier, which was, God will be merciful and, and gracious to those based on what they do know. At Callahan, how does that make you feel being you are the only member of the church in, in your family? You have a husband, you have kids. What are some of your thoughts on Jesus Christ and his goodness to those who do not have a, that same knowledge that you have? What I know is that God wants me and as many of his children to return back to him. I think what's most important is that, you know, that people are good people. Like, and that's what when you follow Jesus Christ, you're following your, his example. And I think that we're going to have that opportunity. So as long as people are living good lives and they're trying to do the best that they can, then in the end, God will take care of it. <laughs>